Hey guys, it's Chris and today I'm going to be showing you the features of the new 2021 Honda Civic Sport Hatch. But first, we're going to be giving Yuki a wash uh, because it's been raining the past couple days and she is absolutely filthy. Now it's going to be raining tomorrow so I'm not going to give her a complete wash but she is very dirty and it's bothering me. So, see you later. Alright guys, so the very first feature of this vehicle that I'm going to show you is Android Auto. So as you can see, I have my phone connected to the car uh, via USB, which Honda provides us with this little cable right here. And we have this feature on the radio, or on our little infotainment system that has Android Auto. So all you got to do is hit Android Auto and then Automatically, it's gonna pull you into the maps, and then there's other apps here. Uh, if you press the circle button, you have your Spotify button, podcast, phone, all your basic functions. Obviously, there's no text because, you know, who's gonna text while driving? That's very dangerous, and I don't recommend doing that. And it's Google Assistant, so you can ask Google what the weather is like, or if you want to use the map to navigate you to a certain destination, you can also do that. And also, you can say, hey, Ooh. and then it will, you know, whatever command you'll tell it. Sorry, I didn't understand. So right now, we're going to be going out to go shopping. Um, so I'm going to be using my Android Auto. My phone, again, is connected. And all I have to do is say, hey, Ooh. take me to the Philadelphia outlets. All right. Philadelphia Premium Outlets. Let's go. So now it's navigating us to the outlets. So that's one of the cool features uh, of this car. Now we're going on to the dash. Uh, this is the second feature that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, as you can see, you have all these options on your dash. Um, one of the main features that I want to show you is the turbo. So this is your turbo gauge. Obviously, we're moving at a slow speed and the turbo isn't moving, but when we accelerate, you can see it move up. Uh, so that's a pretty cool little feature. And then if you're using maps on the dash, it's gonna tell you the directions, if you have to turn or which way you should be going. Uh, and then it alerts you about a half a mile in advance. So I really like that. Uh, instead of you looking away from the road, it just tells you on the dash. All right guys, so the third feature that I wanna show you in this car is called the brake hold button. Now what that means is if you're stuck in traffic or you're stuck at a stoplight and you're too tired to keep your foot on the brake, this is what that feature is for. So all you gotta to do to initiate that is come to a complete stop, put your foot on the brake, and then you're gonna be pressing this brake hold button. Once you press that button, you can let go of the brake with your foot. As you can see, my foot is not on the brake and we're still keeping still. And this function is different from the handbrake uh, because these are two different buttons. With the handbrake, this is an electronic handbrake. When you press the gas while your car is handbrake enabled, your car's not gonna go anywhere because it's a handbrake. Whereas this brake hold button, it acts as your main brakes like you're pressing down on the brakes. So if you press on the gas, your car will still move. All right guys, so this is, I believe the fourth feature, or is it fifth, I can't remember, that I wanna show you. Uh, it's the lane assist. So if you go out of lane, it's gonna guide you like that. It's gonna, it's gonna wiggle the steering wheel 
and then that lane departure uh, is gonna pop on, on your dash uh, as you just saw all right so now we're gonna be doing the adaptive cruise control so to set that up you are going to press this and as you can see on the dash those three lines just showed up and then so now we're gonna be traveling the same speed as the other cars so it's gonna adapt so as you can see that car in front of us is going 73 miles an hour so my foot is off the gas and it's adaptive so it'll adjust so now it senses the car as you can see the car icon just showed up and that car in front of me is actually going slower than 74 so now the car is adapting and now is it's going 64 miles an hour 63 miles an hour now so that's kind of cool uh, this is the adaptive cruise control hey guys so another feature that I like about this vehicle is with the key fob so this is a smart key fob um, it has your smart key entry meaning all you got to do is walk up to the car just like that and then it'll unlock but the main feature that I want to show you is if you press this unlock button right here you press and hold it it'll roll down the windows just like on a BMW or any of the other German cars. So as you see, my windows are now open. But unfortunately, you can't close it just like on a BMW. You would have to get the key out of the key fob just like this. Pull that. So to close the windows, you have to insert the key into the keyhole. There, so there you go. And that's how you close it which is kind of disappointing uh, because you can control opening the windows with the key fob, but you can't close the windows with the key fob. So, and of course we have our automatic start or your remote start, which I showed in my last video. Amazing. All right, so what if you remote started your vehicle and decided, hey, I'm not gonna go yet. So, you're gonna go in your key fob and press your remote start button again. Press and hold until the car turns off. So now it's turned off. So let's say, for example, you leave your car running and you forgot to get something inside the house. And of course, I have the key fob inside my pocket. What's gonna happen? So this is what's gonna happen. So the car's still running. You get out of your vehicle, close the door and then you walk away your car will now beep so that's one of the features that this car has all right so now I'm gonna demonstrate this walk away lock function so meaning you don't have to touch your key fob you don't have to do anything you just walk away from your car after you turn it off after you park it so you get out of your vehicle close the door and you walk away. And when you heard that beep, that means that the car has locked itself. And I didn't touch my key fob. Let's try it. Go ahead, try opening it. It is now locked. Amazing. So now. <laughs> Yay. So now I'm not touching the key fob, but what if I want to get inside the car? I'm not touching any buttons, okay? My key fob is in my pocket. Put your hand behind the handle, opens. Oh my God. All right guys, sorry for the change of scenery because my battery down on my phone, we had to charge it up. Uh, but now it's nighttime. But anyways, thank you all for watching. For all you 10th gen Civic owners out there, if I missed anything, make sure to leave a comment down below what I missed and what you liked about this video because I will be doing a follow-up review after 5,000 miles, so stay tuned for that. As always, leave a like and subscribe to our channel to show your support. Again, thank you all and peace out. There is a Type R next to Yuki. There's a freaking Type R. Woo! Hello, Type R. You look very nice. Damn.
I like that. That's a nice color. And they decided to park right next to my car. It's an actual type, type R.